So if you rearrange the equation, you will have Vc equal to V maximum 1 minus x over delta square dCA, this is CA, by dZ equal to DAB dCA square by dx square. If you can solve this equation, then you'll get answer. If you are interested in solving this equation, you can take another advanced mathematics course. Okay? Now, just for our interest here, if you have this equation, how many boundary conditions do we need? Three. One respect to z, two respect to x. Okay? So the list of boundary condition is supposed to be as c equal to something and two of the boundaries regarding at x. What do we have? We know that as z equal to zero, that's fresh liquid B, okay? So at B, at Z equal to zero, any X, CA is zero because we feed fresh um, pure B. Regarding X, at X equal to zero, any Z, CA is equal to CA0, right? The other boundaries would come from at x equal to delta, which is our wall. Any z, what do we have? Flux is zero. Flux along x direction at x equal to delta is zero because our species cannot penetrate into the wall, right? Just like what we did for the previous examples. This one would be translated to dCA by dx equal to zero at x equal to delta. All right. This equation itself, even though you take advanced mathematics course, is still very difficult to, to solve. Why? Because you have x squared here. You need to bring that to this part. Okay? That's hard because you have inverse of x squared. You integrate it, partial differential equ equation. So to approximate it, People would say that, let's look into this picture. All right, when you look into this picture, a is dissolved into liquid. If you look together with the velocity profile, it means that once A is dissolved into liquid, A is experience the maximum velocity right away. Right? Because this is maximum velocity. Once it dissolved into liquid, it was swept by maximum velocity. So it is very hard for A to diffuse through the, all the way to this part because the stream is very strong here. So whenever A is dissolved, it will be swept downward. In other words, A would never reach this layer, right? But you can never know whether A has never reached it or not. All you can say is 
you can approximate velocity profile from hyper um, from para parabolic velocity profile like this. We can approximate it to be like this. To be constant, just for the calculation of concentration profile. Okay, the blue lines is actual velocity profile. We can use that to represent uh, to represent velocity profile. But for the ca calculation of concentration profile, we will need the black one. Why? Because first of all, it is simple. Velocity does not change with respect to position. Secondly, it is still within the reasonable approximation because A is swept by the first velocity here, by the maximum velocity. It doesn't matter whether velocity around here is going downward, I mean, is going lower or not because A will be swept away anyway. Okay? By doing this, you can reduce the equation from here as a function of x you can reduce it to v max which is a constant dca by dz equal to dab dca square by dx square this is much easier i know this is still unsolvable for you guys, but this is much easier. All right? This equation can be solved, and the answer or the solution is given to you in the textbook. All I, all I need from you would be identifying the boundary condition. Once you Reduce the equation from here to there. Boundary condition may be changed. Our boundaries at z equal to zero supposed to be the same. At x equal to zero, it's supposed to be the same. All right? But now, at x equal to delta, may not be the same anymore because we did something at x equal to delta that makes the velocity profile to change okay so in the text they said they proposed the new boundary condition this boundary condition was used so that this equation can be solved all right you can stick with the same boundary condition it's true it's still correct but the equation will never be solved. In order to solve this equation, you will need to adjust the boundary condition. The, boundary, the new boundary condition will be x approaching infinite. Then ca is 0. What does it mean? x approaching infinite ca equals 0. It means that species a will never reach the wall. It seems like the wall itself is very far away from the surface. So it doesn't matter how long they are. At the end, 